here she is, Miss Rita Marino. You know, now that you've won an Academy Award, I imagine you're sort of anxious to do more pictures, aren't you? Well, yes, there are several I'm considering, but I have to be careful to find the right part. Oh, I know, I know what you mean. I have the same problem. <laughs> Jack, you haven't made a picture for 20 years. Well, you see how careful I am? <laughs> After West Side Story, believe it or not, I could not find work. That's what I say. I was offered some things, but they were all these Latina characters in gang movies. So I just said, no, you know, I tucked my little gold man under my arm. I said, uh-uh, I'm not going to do that stuff anymore with the accents. I did some television. I did summer theater, that kind of thing. So I was working, but I didn't do one bloody movie for seven years. After London, I got my very first leading lady part on Broadway, and I was so excited. Broadway was really big stuff. The sign in Sidney Brewstein's window didn't even last a week. <laughs> but that's when I met Lenny. My father had a patient in his practice who was this Jewish psychologist named Leah. She got them both to a dinner at her house. My father was completely entranced, so he asked her out for New Year's Eve. He's like this normal, stable guy, so she's immediately suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, this can't be good. She's not attracted to guys like that. She's attracted to, like, wild men who were self-destructive geniuses. She said, okay, pick me up at the theater at 10.30. And he didn't really ask questions, so <laughs> he goes to the theater all dressed up on New Year's Eve, and people are starting to trickle out, and he's looking for her. She stood him up. He's furious. How can she stand me up? Rita's in her dressing room. Where's Lenny? He stood me up. <laughs> How could I be stood up by this guy? It's now like 11 o'clock at night, and he starts to walk away, kind of dejected, walking down the street. And he looks back, and he sees Rita Moreno in the sign in Sidney Brewstein's window. And he's thinking, oh my god. So he runs back into the theater. He runs backstage, and he knocks on her dressing room door, and he opens it, and he says, are you the Rita Moreno? <laughs> He has no idea it's Rita Moreno, like that Rita Moreno. And she's so charmed that he was so innocent and he didn't know, and that was it. So they got married six months later. He liked her for who she was as a person, not because she was Rita Moreno. Skies ain't gonna cloud no more. She was herself. Crops ain't gonna fade. It seems like happiness is just a thing called Joe. He's got a smile. Lenny was a really, really caring, smart, sweet man. My mother and father were a lot of fun together. My father made my mother laugh so much, which I think is such a great basis for a relationship. My father was very witty. We would do things like go out to dinner together and we would play that game where you see sort of an odd couple and we would all make up stories about how they were together and why they were there and what were they hiding. And we were a pretty creative family. 